love the climate. Not sure what animal did that, but thank you. Mines. Great. Jesus Christ, Claymores. Snake, you said Eva said her Mauser was a Type 17, right? Yeah, what about it? That model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangxi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker, too. But most telling of all, it's got Chinese characters engraved on both sides of the frame like you saw. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally, that's a trademark of the Chinese. Just like you were saying, when you're firing in full auto mode, the muzzle jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close range mop-up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. Good. You made it to Bolshaya Pust. The name Bolshaya Pust means something close to the Great Cavity. It probably got that name from the crevice to the north. There's a fortified area in the southern part of Bolshaya Pust that's strung with barbed wire. To the north of that is a relay station that serves as both a depot for material shipments and a communication facility. The crevice leading to the cave is located to the north of the relay station. Head north. Vulcan operatives, this Vulcan faction. I bet they don't know what the word paranoia means. This place is fortified. And his own troops are in the area. So. He definitely doesn't mind risking a few lives to keep himself. And his faction protected. I'm sure they have accidents over here at least a couple times a week. Dane, Jesus. Proud what dogs are. These tranks aren't gonna last that long. Somebody definitely heard that. Nighty nighty.
comes to Calvary. Let's get the trail man down first. Drop this guy in the mud. Come on. him from here. Answer, yes. Oh, I'm gonna have to go around. And since I left these guys alive, I don't have all day to do it. Too long. Anything else going on over here? Let's try this out. Oh, well, let's save it. to join the party. Long range. Handgun snipes. That's something. Kermit the Frog.
Not too bad. One of their soldier outposts. gun. Now it should only be a matter of time. There he goes. Gotta find a place to put this guy. Or not. for the soldier encampments. These things are not fortified very well. Yikes. in the face. to the radio. Where's he hiding?
There we go. Just a little medical bend. There we go. Now the good stuff. I should blow it up, but I don't know if I want that attention yet. Hunger strike time, guys. Starved him out. What the? Oh, let me get somewhere safe first. made that wrong turn in Albuquerque. A leech? How long has that thing been there? Just sucking stamina. for my country. <sighs> That's gonna take a day to not be annoying. Everybody's looking for me. Let's see. That's damn good. Damn good. Problem with fruit is fruit doesn't last long. see you, but you don't see me.
HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your position. You served your purpose. Might as well, right? Hope the KGB guys are better than these guru operatives. Technically, I don't need to get them. a lousy mind in your surroundings. Time for a new silencer. Do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. Alright, let's see, is there anything worth anything in here? Pull out the big gun just in case. Ah, little green man. From Russia with love. My ass. No one else? Let's just get out of here. <clears throat> them enough trouble here. Is this guy twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat ah! spit snap 
as in the group soldiers working together. But you're mine now. All of you, leave us. It's just you and me. No one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures. Foolish ones. from our last two encounters, young man. This time I've got 12 shots. <laughs> I'm gonna see what I can do not to kill him. But if he makes me, I will kill him. Paradox be damned. You won't get away from Rescue with this guy.
down. Right. King the Ricochet. You both get away from me! You're not good enough to beat me. Um, damn it. He found us. Again with hornets. 
What in the fuck? This is crazy. I wouldn't have believed it if somebody told me. His handling of his revolver is magnificent. You were lucky. We'll meet again. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Major. Snake. Are you alright? You're not hurt? No. That was a hell of a drop, but I'm fine. Looks like there's no way back up, though. I see. Well, anyway, it's good to hear you're not injured. Slipping and falling may not have been part of the plan, but getting into that cave was. Proceed further into the cave. The cave seems to be structured like a maze, but there's an exit somewhere. Find a way out of the cave and head for the aqueduct. All right, but it might take me a while to get through this cave. Are you hurt? No. Is it the enemy? Did they set a trap for you? Not that either. Then what is it? It's dark in here. Dark? Yeah, there's no light anywhere. I should have brought a flashlight with me. So what you're saying is that it's going to take you a while because you don't have a flashlight? Right. Snake, if you don't have a flashlight, you should be looking for a substitute. I tell you, American soldiers these days rely too much on ready-made equipment. Here we go again. What was that? Nothing. American soldiers rely too much on ready-made equipment. And not only that, they can't seem to grasp that one piece of equipment can have multiple functions. Back when I was in the SAS, we never had that problem. We were trained to use every piece of equipment in as many ways as possible. If you don't have a flashlight, look for something else. You need to develop flexible, innovative thinking if you want to... Hey, are you listening to me? Uh, yeah, of course I am. First, take a look at what you're carrying with you now. Don't you have anything that can provide you with some light? Wow, you caught a coral snake. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally hails from the Americas. Its venom is a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. The colorful red and black patterns on the coral snake are a warning sign. Apparently, the bright flashy colors and pattern let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison that keeps them from attacking. There are many animals that mimic the colors of known poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the coral snake. Uh-huh. You're not even listening, are you? No. <sighs> okay, we'll talk about something you're interested in then. The taste? Yes. It says here that coral snakes are pretty good in a snaky kind of way. A snaky kind of way, huh? The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo? That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know.
Snake, are you all right? Yeah, just barely. What the hell were all those hornets? Most likely that was the pain, one of the cobras. I figured as much. Are they tracking me? I don't know. The cobras only take orders from the boss. Not even Volgan knows what they're really up to, so I don't know anything about them either. No kidding. I'll try and dig up as much as I can about them. You just focus on moving ahead. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie swamp. And Snake, be careful. That cave is pitch dark inside. Good. I did remember to tell you then. <sighs> if it's completely dark and you need a light, try using a torch. I heard there's some emergency torches stored somewhere in that cave. Torches. Got it. So where are they? Huh? Where are the torches? How should I know? Go find them yourself. Snake, have you seen 007 from Russia with Love? Nah, I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the Major's going to like you saying that. And even though it's fiction, I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets? The cars? The guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen going to do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You can make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. Ah. Okay, now you're being ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hmm. To tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I... I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You... you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative, and to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationship. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand? I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? The Major is a huge James Bond fan. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You have my sympathy. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks.
Eva. Where are you now? I told you, didn't I? I'm right near the Colonel. Pretty weak answer, if you ask me. I suppose you're right. Eva. Snake, I'm under orders to cooperate with you, but that doesn't mean I have to tell you everything I know. I would assume the same applies to you, too. like the edge of the cave. I'm home. What? No, great. Hornets. This is the strangest supernatural shit ever. We are the what? sons of the boss. Boss. One of the cobras. I am the pain. He smells good like he's always around honey. I will guide you to a world of anguish beyond your imagination. No, thank you. Everybody's gotta have a weakness. I can clearly see his strength. Let's get started. The water will be to my advantage. positions for this damn cave. How are your knees? How are your knees? Let's see if I can try some of those. Hornet 
brain. This is absurd. I've never met anyone that seemed to have power before. Again, I wouldn't believe it if I'm not watching it. <laughs> Maybe a chafe grenade? There we go, come on. Sometimes. Let's see if I can interrupt your communication. Perversion. Can someone explain what the hell just went on? Snake, you beat the pain. Not without a tough fight. How did it feel to fight one of the boss's comrades? What are you getting at? I just want to know what it's like to have fought a member of the legendary Cobra unit. That's all. 
What you want to know is if I can really face the boss. Is that right? Well, that too. Don't waste your time worrying about me. I'll get the mission done. I certainly hope so. So the exit of the cave is up ahead? Right. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie Swamp. The exit from the cave should be toward... Seeing things? Was that the Jetsons? Hovercrafts? Fantasy. Snake, your number one priority in this mission is rescuing Sokolov. Eva said he is in the lab, so head over there. Right. Do you remember how to get to the lab? You mean what Eva told me? Yes. Of course I do. All right, repeat it for me. Major, do you think I'd forget something like that? Let's hear it then. First, I head toward the back of this cave. Mm hmm. And then I'll come to an aqueduct. And then? And then... Uh... All right, let's go over this one more time. Follow the cave to the end and you'll come out in an aqueduct surrounded by a mangrove. Follow the aqueduct to the north and you should arrive at a warehouse. Climb out of the water and enter the warehouse. After you've infiltrated the warehouse, pass through it to the north. Then you'll emerge in the woods again. The lab will be directly to the north. Are we clear now? Yeah. Snake. I got it, I got it. Basically, I just head north, right? Ugh. Pass through that area to the north and you'll reach the aqueduct. But be careful. The aqueduct is patrolled by flying platforms. Flying platforms? Soldiers hovering in the air. I've heard stories, but... They've already been implemented over here. It goes to show that America isn't number one in everything. 